2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Still coming now. Let's get it. The NBA is now taking deposits for season tickets for the next season. What's good, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got some NBA 2K, my career gameplay. Running with the New Orleans Pelicans. We got, uh, it's going to be kind of tricky playing because it's a fact. Guys, now get that much playing time. Just starting off this right now, game one of the year. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna probably just play like three or four games right now, cause that's how much game. <laughs> that's how much PT I'm probably gonna get. <laughs> and then we're gonna actually, I guess, play key games throughout the season. Uh, yeah. So let's get it started. Let's get it going, and let's get some exciting games. And let's get great. everyone to a brand new season of NBA basketball. I'm sure you're as excited as all of us are here at 2K Sports as we get ready to start the season in style. I'm Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, our terrific analysts, and David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. We'll see the New Orleans Pelicans facing the Memphis Grizzlies. And before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge on the sideline. David? Well, guys, he has an admiration for what he called the intelligent, efficient offense played by today's opponent. He told me that the thing about this team is that they are so good at identifying the weak spots in an opponent, and they come at you in multiple ways depending on where those weak spots are. He said, we've got to be ready for everything. It's pretty tall order. Guys? Thanks, David. Obviously, two teams, same conference, lots of history between them. Should be a good one. Brent, who are some of your favorite rivals to compete against? You know, just growing up around the game of basketball, Kevin, for me to step on the floor uh, against the jerseys, maybe not so much about the, the player that's in the jersey, but to see Lakers in purple or to see Celtics in green. That, that, to me, got my juices flowing. And then, obviously, selfishly, anytime I had the opportunity. Yeah, that's faster than I thought we would be. New Orleans leading by six. Here's prime time. Let's get, get a feel of the game. That's easy. And Gasol oh. sends it back. One of the hardest things to do is stay in front. Being so short. For Gasol, he gets it there. And, yes, it's good. Seconds left to play in the first quarter. Golly. Miro the pass to prime time. Five to shoot. Can I get a five? Banked in off the first buckets. Prime time gets the bucket. In a moment to celebrate here. Those are his first official points as an NBA player. The typical road to the NBA, but there is a lot to I knew it was coming from this kid. Yeah, I didn't know when. To say the least for DJ to get to this moment, uh, as you mentioned. Well, before the game, we had a moment to sit down with DJ, and we asked him about playing in his first NBA game. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing to consider where I'm at right now. I mean, when I decided to uh, pursue basketball full-time and, and uh, to play in the, in the proving ground, I didn't know I would make it this far, you know, at least not this soon. Like, I knew I had talent. I knew I could work hard, and I just... I did everything I could to be successful on the court. But I really can't wait to showcase my skills on the ultimate stage, I mean, against the best players in the world. How hard is it? It's all missing. Let's go. The miss Run it. There. He just knows how to pressure you defensively. That's easy. You hear a lot about rim protection. Sis. It's a good example. That's how you do it. He'll catch the be. ball. In. And I ask you, what do something can with you do? Report. Now here's Ennis. Defense on the point guard. I don't think I'm going to do that. Sure. Oh, good. Jammed up in the face of the score. Oh, good. D. Sends it back. And oh. Oh. And what? So he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. 
And you know, Brent, we know top level coaching is an all in affair strategy, motivation. What Let's go. Officials. But who are some of the most complete coaches in the league right now? Well, the top of the list is great ah. when it comes to NBA coaches. And here's Green outside. Ah. Oh, this goes to Gasol. David Aldridge. Well, guys, the Pelicans do. Right there. Easy. Anthony Davis. We haven't really made no impact on the game. Brooks at all. Outside. Oh, yeah. It's going by. Getting him. nasty heel. Plays it in off. It's stolen by Ennis. Ooh. If they play it right, we're talking a two for one. Yeah, this is where it comes down. It's really time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Alvin Gentry. Coach, you're leading at the half. What will you continue to emphasize to your team? Well, I mean, defensively, we still have to be good. we got to rebound the basketball. And then we've got to continue to push the basketball and score offensively. We'll see if you can keep that going in the second half, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. A group substitution here for New Orleans. Right there. Alexis Aginsa. There we go. For Davis. Solomon Hill. Look, well, well, guys. First game. This All we can do is actually win. Good win. Blowout win. You know what? Win a game, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Good game. Real good game. Boy. That's how we do it, Boo Boo. That's right. Mmm. Ah. Game, Sam. Saw that victory, right? Killed him, man. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Play this dumb. Man. Too soon. What do you mean, too soon? Too soon, man. It's not your time yet. <sighs> you starting to embarrass me, man. Look at that boy like, stop. Me, are you serious? Just go three points. You don't get no love for three points. Oh, and you're gonna be doing a remote interview. Put these on. Okay. Uh, hey, Moochie. Hey, DJ. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah, I mean, no problem. I'm just a little surprised you want to talk to me, considering I barely played and had like no impact on the game you're whatsoever. You're a rookie. Rookies are <laughs> always interesting. Okay, here Glad we go. You're right. Sports Radio 56 with Moochie. And we're back. Sports Radio 56, the pawn. And I'm here with new rookie DJ. Deej, you struggled a bit out there tonight. Well, you know, it's not easy to get going in limited minutes, but uh, we have a great team, a great coaching staff, and, you know, I'm just happy to, to be able to play the game that I love every day. Of course. The season's just beginning. How's the team treating you? The team is great. I mean, the coaching staff is great. You know, we have a lot of experienced guys on our teams. You know, a lot of our vets. Shout out my vet, uh, Shammy. You know, he's been awesome. And uh, it's just been a really great experience, man. Very humbling. Spoken like someone who's been there before. That's all the time we have for today. I'd like to thank DJ for taking a few minutes to talk to us after his NBA debut. Thanks again, DJ. No problem, man. That's it? That's it. That wasn't too bad. Thank you. Oh. He was great. Mm -hmm. Maybe he can give Shammy some. Cause I'm the man. Yeah. That's why. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Oh man. Say what? What? You say something? Nah, man. I'm just looking at my preseason stats, man. They're horrible. I mean, you're horrible, Rook. What site is that you on? NBA.com. Aw, oh, yo. Hey. Hey, come here, man. You got to look at the in-house stuff. Man, that's just the box scores. Teams got high-speed cameras all around the arenas and the practice gym. Hey, tell this dude. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Aaron. I'm this the analytics. stats kid. I, the Aaron. stats kid. That's cool, too. So how my rookie doing, man? Hey, man. Nice to meet you. I'm DJ. He's actually doing really well. Um, your per-possession stats, uh, uh, there's like 96 possessions with an average game. If you extrapolate those numbers based DJ, on the possession... DJ, don't you listen to this man. He's full of bird seeds. You just keep your head in the game, okay? Got it, coach. Stats and possessions. <laughs> if you extrapolate those numbers based on the amount of possessions you play versus the raw totals... The, the raw total? What about the cook totals? I don't understand. If you extrapolate... Uh, your per-possession stats project you as a starter. See? Woo! Boy. Hey, man, I like the way you talking, man. Keep talking to me like that, bruh. Of course. If you need anything else, let me know. All right, bro. Numbers related, of course. I like you, man. I like that dude. Hey, he's a commodity around here, man. So use him wisely. I'm gonna use him every day. Welcome back, guys. 
Got another yeah. game. Going against Gold State Warriors. See how this gonna go. <laughs> Curry about the life. You probably a five sixty. Yeah, man, it's just real tough. It's tough playing defense. I don't know if it's. I why I know it's because I'm short. But you be so focused on defense that offense is just like a whole mindset gone. But we gonna go in there. We gonna play hard. We gonna try to make, try to actually make a difference this game. We've got basketball action from New Orleans, Louisiana, home of the Pelicans, here on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by the talented analyst tandem of Greg Anthony and Chris Weber. David Aldridge is on our sideline. Well, it was the New Orleans Pelicans winning their last game against the Grizzlies of Memphis. It was just a textbook performance. That game was all there. Once they got it going, it was full speed ahead. Away from home, you got to execute, and they did that flawlessly. Yeah, and they also controlled the pace of the game for most of the night. Outstanding effort in the hostile environment. And we've got time for a quick pregame report. With that being said, let's head to the sideline and our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, D.A., well, Kevin, the Warriors are one of the best offensive teams in the league, and Steve Kerr talks about his offensive philosophy often. He said, I believe unequivocally as a coach, and I believed it as a player, that the ball has to move. When the ball stops, the game stops. And I don't think you can win at the highest level by playing too much one-on-one. -on -one. Kevin? Thanks for that, D.A. And the Warriors move the ball so quickly. Their team chemistry is off the charts. And both these teams very aggressive. Looking at early offense, transition defense, I think, would be critical. What do you think? Up-tempo basketball, Kevin. Up-tempo basketball. Right now, the pace. How do you control the pace? you got to control the boards. you got to be aggressive on the defensive end because this game get out of hand if you don't get back on deep. Here we go. Tip the miss. Man, right. You get that well. Wrong result on that one. Generally, you, that. you knock that those out. Well, I like the decision making though. I mean, that's a shot you want to keep taking. Let's go! One goes. First bucket. Times got hit. To his long shot story. Well, last game, this team came away with the win, and we saw the debut of DJ Greg. Wasn't an easy start yeah, to his. And this team knows they'll need to be got a little patient. Come on. Right there. Right there. Let's go! They were happy to get him some far more efficient. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. And the Pelicans at last Rebound. Trade deadline mm. making the big deal for DeMarcus Cousins. Oh, skill in terms of their I got you on that. Give me the ball. Okay. Round them with shooters and some perimeter defense. I, I think so. this group could be scary. Pelicans shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. In the season ago, Let's go. 75% of their free throws. Two shots. He doesn't get the second one. Yeah. Playoffs for such a long time, but uh, look at how far. Give me the foul. Let's go. That's supposed to be an and one. See, terrific first quarter. There's a screen. Uh -uh. No easiness. Get off the bell. Livingston kicks to. Hey man, stay. Oh yeah, good hand. That drops and it comes off. Hey man, hey, now you can do about that. And work ethic, a big part of Steph Curry's success, as he was not a highly regarded five-star recruit coming out of high school. There's obviously ways that you can get better as a player from year to year and find different ways to show you know, what you're capable of. And that's kind of how you know, my story unfolded from high school to now is just adding a little bit of piece here, piece there every single year. I love it. They have the track shoes on right off the tip. They were in full Oh, yeah. Ball. This off. Yeah. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And Golden State looking at who they've got. Iguodala, yeah, Bell, let's go. And it's West, and there's Livingston, and it's Curry. Season high points. six points. And Chris, you could always face up so well from the high post when you played. Which power forward do you think has the best face-up game out there right now? Well, I think in order to have a really good face-up game, you have to have another threat, and that's to be able to drive. Let's go! From one lane. Come on. It's open, so yeah, we doing it Golden State right, right now. But definitely a, a basketball IQ that says, wait, this is the smarter play right now. Can you think it 
Last outing for Golden State, they won that game against Houston. And, and once they establish that flow offense, if I ain't getting the foul, well, you ain't getting the foul. Any resistance. Stop flopping. Yeah. Who's back up? Come on, Jensen. By West. Jensen? I said Jensen. <laughs> outside. His name is Jensen. Goes up the baseline. Yep, it goes in. The Pelican lead is cut down now. To just setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been he checked. Prime time. And he's he checked. Three ball. Give me that. Prime time's got five points. Two fall for me, man. The he checked. Just play me hard. Prime time. There you go. There we go. Jensen's got his second basket of the night. Hey, what you say is the key for hey, the we looking, to get back in the play. Looking like a little something. Several. I think rebounding was a big problem. Uh, the trade for Cousins should help in that area. Uh, and every team needs more. The second unit doing some things. In particular, this group does. Uh, and then, first and foremost, look. Prime time. Give me the ball when I call. And it's sent back by West. And now, in uh, here we go. He stopped the ball. Living center. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much. Steph, what do you think of your defense in the first half? We're a, little, we're a step late, I think. And, you know, they made tough shots. We can't take away from that. But uh, for the most part, we have to find a way to, to guard that line if they're knocking down shots to, uh, to keep them out of the game. We'll see where the adjustments take you. Thanks, Steph. Back to you, Kevin. For the third quarter of action following halftime. Hey, man, I'd like to say that was one of the best halves i played so far. Now I mean? Don't All reach out much. there with prime time, and it's Miller in at the three, the small forward. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. The Pelicans taking the W here. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah. Got that right there, guys, was our best game. Hands down, no question. Did we get the win? And we got the win. Got a 10-point win at home against the Warriors. I wish the Pelicans would did that in real life, but that's another story for another day. Good effort out there, fellas. Real good effort. That was a good game. I like what I saw. Superstar. Oh. Good game, brother. Real good. Y'all keep it up. We'll end it right there, guys. Hey, low key, I get carried of business. <laughs> Not really, but we had one good game, one bad game. <laughs> one good game, one bad game. We did it. We get 2 1 0. We actually beat Golden State at home. <laughs> and if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, uh, share the video, and stay tuned. Take it easy. Peace.